Player Unknown Battlegrounds, a game that has practically swept through Steam without mercy. News articles have even pointed out to how it's been setting a record for most concurrent players on Steam. It's a success story in every way. Now if only I can win a game. Once. Just once. Please. Just, just once. Can I win a game? Please? I want to feel like I have meaning. Recently the creators of Fortnite have announced a new game mode called Battle Royale. A game mode where 100 players are dropped in one huge map and the last player standing wins. Sound familiar? It also sounds familiar to Blue Hole Games VP and executive producer Chong Hun Kim, who had actually criticized the game mode for its similarities. However, his statement wasn't exactly very clear, so he decided to sit down with PC Gamer and clarify what he has said. First of all, Kim wants to make it clear that it's not about the game mode. It's not about having the same kind of game mode or genre. Not at all. It's about the similarities between PUBG and Fortnite's Battle Royale, as well as the way that Epic Games went about doing it. So we're just going to skip to the more important parts of the article. The interviewer asked if Chang and Kim wants Epic Games to license the Battle Royale game from them. Kim responded with, What I think is, they should have at least came to us before making it and had a discussion with us. According to Kim, or according to what Kim is saying, apparently they just made it out of the blue. They kind of said like, hey, we're going to make this Battle Royale game without even like talking to them. And you're probably wondering, why does Epic Games have to talk to them? Well... This is related to another issue that Kim talked about. The thing about this is that they work with Epic Games. They work with Epic Games because PUBG is on the Unreal 4 engine, and they're working with Epic to make sure that the Unreal engine can support a Battle Royale-like game that supports 100 players in one game. Why is this an issue between Fortnite's Battle Royale and PUBG? Well, Kim quotes, Now we're starting to have concerns that they're going to develop new features or improve something in the engine to support that Battle Royale gameplay and then use it for their own game mode. He's afraid that Epic Games, since they've been working closely together for PUBG, Epic Games might make their make their Battle Royale game mode on Fortnite better, because they work more with the engine than uh, Blue Hole does. They're afraid they might have some sort of bias towards Fortnite as compared to PUBG. Currently, there has been no word from Epic Games. Blue Hole has reached out to Epic Korea, and they have reached out to their headquarters in the United States, but Epic Games have not released a statement or an update as far as I know. Now you're probably wondering, why has Kim only criticized Fortnite's genre of Battle Royale? Other than the fact that they work with Epic Games. I mean, you know, there are other kinds of Battle Royale game modes. So why hasn't Kim criticized those? Well, we're going to get into that. I did a little bit of digging, and I decided to uh, make this a little part of the video where I compare and contrast three different kinds of Battle Royale games to PUBG. So we're going to start with GTA V. Uh, GTA V's game mode is known as Motor Wars. It was a part of the Smuggler Runs update kind of DLC pack that was free, as they all are. So yeah, let's just get into the differences and similarities between them. So first of all, every game of Motor Wars starts off with you in a helicopter with you and your team. You jump out and you parachute down to the ground on a huge map, which is it's the GTA V map. Another similarity is that there are closing boundaries in the game. And as time goes on, it gets closer and closer until the players are basically just forced close enough to each other that they have to fight. That's where the similarities end. I looked at one video, so there might be more, but I, that's all I got from that video. Differences are that there are armored cars with guns on them in Motor Wars. Motor Wars works with four teams of five, it seems, and each of them are colored differently. It has the GTA 5 user interface and mechanics. This is more team-based, while PUBG does have a squad kind of game mode. This one is just strictly team-based. They drop from a helicopter, not from a plane, and it seems like every team has a different helicopter and they drop in a different place, but the helicopter does not move, it stays in one place. And then the last difference is that it goes in rounds. Uh, they're you know, round one, round two. So if one is left standing, there's still a chance for one team to win if they lost that one round. Now let's get into uh, H1Z1's King of the Kill. H1Z1 is a kind of like just a survival game. Uh, its first game was called Just Survive, and I was just surviving in a world where there were zombies. Uh, they decided to make one where you uh, parachute down and try and find weapons and try and be the last one alive. Now, the similarities are that, yeah, it's basically kind of the same kind of mechanics, but that's how all Battle Royale games go. Uh, you do parachute in, it has closing boundaries as there is a, like a wall of gas that surrounds the place. Now, another similarity, and this is a very important one, so keep this one in mind, is that... Daybreak Games, who created H1Z1, worked with Brendan Green, the creator of PUBG, and licensed the game to make it. I think that that kind of excuses them from this. Also, it came out first. Now let's move on to Fortnite's Battle Royale. So similarities with PUBG. It has 100 players. 
strictly 100 players. Next up, they drop in from what is what they call the battle bus. And it's a bus that flies through the sky. And it's a plane. It's a f***ing plane. And yeah, they parachute in. Of course, they call it the glider, but it's, it's a parachute. It's basically a parachute. The UI is nearly identical. Let me show you. So here on Fortnite, we have the health bar and the ammo counter at the bottom. Weapons are off to the bottom right. Compass is at the mid top. Eliminations by you appear in center screen. Eliminations by other players appear at the bottom left. I don't know if there are other similarities between the UIs yet. Uh, I've only got to see what I, I only got to see what they showed at, and the little trailer that they had for Battle Royale. If there are more then, well, another similarity is that they, they literally run on the same engine. And then lastly, Epic Games is partners with Louisville. That's not a similarity, but that's an important fact. It's a very important fact. The only really important difference between these two is that Fortnite has building and crafting mechanics. Now, for something like a battle royale genre, I don't think building and crafting mechanics are important. Maybe crafting. Crafting might be important, but building, I don't think so. I believe that with a game like battle royale, you kind of need to keep moving. If you just stay in one place, I mean, that's just, it's not really going to help you out. The minimap is in the upper right. In PUBG, it's in the lower right. That's the only difference in UI that I've seen. And then lastly, they also have traps, which... I mean, technically, you can you can have traps in PUBG. They're just ambushes by, made by you. Now, that's all I got. Uh, links will be left in the description to any and all articles, videos, or sources used if you wanted to check them out for yourself. Now, this is my first time doing this. If I got something wrong, please tell me. I'm new to this, so it's obvious I'd screw up. So please tell me in the comments. That will help me improve what I'm doing here. Okay? Okay, so this is just a little something I wanted to add in because it's this this aspect is actually very important to the video. I want to know what your opinion is on this whole matter, on this whole on this whole situation. Because I you know, in my opinion, I don't I'm with PUBG, I'm with Blue Hole. Uh it does seem like it's kind of a shitty move of Epic to do something like this without asking them. Or tell or talking to them about it at least. So please in the comments below Give me your thoughts, give me your opinions. Let's have a discussion. If any updates come up, I will make a video on that, and it will show up here on the UBG channel. Also, remember to check out my channel for other kinds of videos other than this. Until then, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed.